so to speak, you know? And you can still be a rebel today. I mean, you still tie in with that. You feel like you're the gangster going out there with your Tommy gun, you've got your doll with you on your arm, you know, and create a special event like we do here at the San Carlos all the time. The confidence in dance in general comes from practice. It comes from getting out there, uh, possibly embarrassing yourself. You have to be willing to risk your coolness, so to speak, you know, to get out there and put yourself out and see if you can pick this stuff up, you know, and other people are watching you. Another lonely night my girl, she don't treat me right I'm hanging around with nothing to do It's when they all knew how to dance, you know? It's something out of that era that you can't put your finger on, that you can't find anymore, you know? And this is the only way to tie back into that. The way that we've found to do that is participating in this dance and learning about the history, learning about the music. And there's all kinds of different elements of it that just continue to unfold the deeper you go into it and the more that you're around it. It's just mind-blowing. There's something about this being the dance, though, that really was the first one to really start kind of pushing it over the edge like that. I mean, it went from Foxtrot and then evolved into Lindy Hop. Everything developed out of Lindy Hop. Jitterbug, um, Jive, Rock and Roll, East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing. Lindy Hop was the original swing dance of the 1920s. So you think Foxtrot, you think Waltz, you think Ballroom Dance, and then you think Swing or Lindy Hop, and it's just uh, night and day. I mean, it just it pushed it over the edge. The music was being performed by a lot of African people and a lot of Jewish people, and at the time, who were, were extremely heavily persecuted. It all tied in with the dance of that era, and this was a way for people to go out and express themselves, and it was done underground. I mean, it was an underground dance. He got me running. He got me You couldn't just go out in the street and listen to this music. You couldn't just go to a club and hear this music and dance. You had to do it somewhere where there was a speakeasy password, you know, and you couldn't just tell all your, you know, your friends and associates about it. You had to know who was cool and who was safe. And then those people would all come and join in. And there was just something that just created so much energy about having people live this life. Back in the day when swing music came out, I mean, you could get put in jail, you could get sent to a concentration camp in Europe. I mean, nowadays people consider this tame and you're a, you're a badass if you're, if you're listening to rap and hip hop, you know? It's a street dance. It's really what it comes down to. Uh, Lindy Hop was born in the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem, New York back in the 1920s, which is where we got our name from, Savoy Hopcats. So this is kind of like a passion of ours jointly together. This is something that we both love doing, and we just wanted to share what we love with the people of Phoenix, and hopefully bring a lot of new people into the scene, as well as provide a place to dance for those that are already dancers. came up to Elizabeth, asked her to dance, and she said yes, and then not too long after that, I asked her to marry me. She said yes to that too. Elizabeth. We host swing dancing right here at the Ghost Lounge in the Hotel San Carlos every Monday night. We do a basic beginner's lesson from 7 to 8 and then we do open dancing from 8 until close.
She's in on the hot river town She took her high heels off When the sun is down She took her a minute She watched the little big head And the mother started watching over the rhythm in her feet when you have everybody dress up, it just transports you back. And what better place to do it than a place that was built in the 1920s? I mean, it's, it's, you couldn't ask for a better gig. He's picking 